Okay. Hey guys. Happy New Year. Um, I wanted to do this video because I'm literally 38 weeks and three days. Yeah. Huh? Three, 38 weeks and two days. Oh, that light's probably bright in your face. And so, um, a couple of people asked that I would make sure that I did a what's in my hospital bag what's in my hospital bag video and then a separate one for what's in the baby's hospital bag so we wanted to do that for you guys this was in the car and there were a couple of things that um, I had to add to the bag so have you brought it back out of the car and so we're gonna go ahead and do this video now so that we can put it back in the car because literally the baby is due like any day now and we've been having serious contractions so we know that the baby is on the way so we're gonna go ahead and show you guys what we have in this bag now this is just my bag hubby has a bag and then there's a separate bag for the baby as well so um real quick just to have it in this video um as a reference for anybody else hopefully it's helpful to you um i don't know i kind of overpacked but not really um because I do have lupus, there's a chance that we will have to stay in the hospital maybe a day longer than usual. Uh, most people, if you have a vaginal birth with no complications, you're out within like 48 to 72 hours. But because I have lupus, they may monitor me and the baby, so we may be there a little bit longer. So that's why you may see a little bit of extra stuff. But overall, it's pretty standard. So yeah, here's what we have in the bag. Here's the bag. I'm just taking the smallest of our luggage set. Um, this would be the one that you could carry on a plane, so it's not super duper huge. So in the first pocket right here, I have just a bag to put like my flip flops and stuff in. I'll show you that in a second. I have a charger for me, a charger for hubby. And I also have a women's laxative. Now, one of the main things that everyone told me is to make sure you have a stool softener or like a gentle women's laxative. I used Colace since I've been pregnant because I have struggled with um, constipation and Colace never worked like ever. So um, I went ahead and picked that up because one of the first things that you're going to need to do after you give birth is have a bowel movement. Um, and it's from what I'm told not that comfortable it's not the best experience so I want to make sure I got that to have that in the bag and those are like these are I think they were like one something like a dollar fifty or something at Target it's the up and up brand but as you can see it's the Target brand of Correctol so I don't know but I wanted it so in this bag in this pocket I should say I have change for the vending machine i don't know how much this is probably like five dollars in coins for the vending machine we brought we have snacks in the car as well so this is just in case you know one of us wants something that is not packed i have an extension cord um i brought this is just my nyx bag this is the bag to carry all the free stuff that the hospital will give you for the baby so make sure you have that i know that's really important because they give you diapers and tons of receiving blankets and binkies and aspirators and just all that good stuff so make sure you have a separate bag that's empty that you can carry all that stuff home in this bag was really nice that i got from nyx so i just decided to pack that one and then as you can see my flip-flops for um the shower or the bathtub whichever one we have in our room so that was why I had the um, Target bag over here so that the wet stuff can go in that bag. As you can see, it's um, compartmentalized. Um, so I guess I'll start with this bag. This is my makeup bag. Um, some people say that makeup is not necessary. It's probably not something you're even going to care about. To each his own. You guys know I'm a makeup artist. This is what I do. It's something I enjoy. Um, so I do have a couple of things in here. The main thing that I wanted to have is lashes and my brows. 
so I'll show you what I have real quick I'm not going to go through everything because that's boring um definitely want to have some type of chapstick this one I have from Bath and Body Works the menthol one these work amazing so I love those pack those I have a pack of Broadway 217 lashes um some tissue Kleenex um my NYX XXL mascara um powder effects satin powder and then I'm just bringing my kiss BB cream and then there's like some lipsticks and lip gloss in there too but it's not it's not a lot it's not a lot at all I just don't want to look dead <laughs> or like completely exhausted after I give birth okay then we also have some um flushing or flushable cleansing cloths I guess that's self-explanatory I hope you get it that's why <laughs> we have those um in this bag I have um some more um disposable cleansing cloths this pack hold on this pack and that pack those are both cleansing cloths my toothbrush some spray the spray is not for me to wear as body spray it's for me to spray in the room just in case I have an accident <laughs> I don't want to stink up the room have some Altoids down there and then makeup remover wipes my elf ones that I love um this bag is like all of my toiletries I got this bag um in a gift set from Hope Look toothpaste two different kinds of toothpaste just because um deodorant i have these little toothbrushes i want hubby's gonna hand me this after i finish pushing or probably during pushing just because i don't want my breath to be funky so yeah these i have lysol spray um more deodorant i don't know why i have two deodorant oh because this one's almost done um what else is in here mouth rinse my contact solution contact case shower gel or body wash is my shower gel and a moisturizer for my skin I have my moisturizer and my cleansing facial scrub so again I don't know if you might consider that to be too much but to each his own I want to I'd rather be over prepared than under prepared so okay so we also have a bag of candy that we're going to put out for the nurses I'm also making gifts for um the nurses to give them as you know just a thank you for helping us get through the birth of our baby so we have candy and we also have gift bags um not gift bags but gifts for the nurses if you're interested just leave a comment down below and i will show you what we're doing i'll probably film it regardless because i'm trying to catch up since we've been gone for so long anyway in this bag as you can see sanitary napkins i know the hospital does provide these but I prefer to not have to wear like super super thick ones so I'll probably wear a really really thick one right after I have the baby and then hopefully be able to transition into my regular overnight ones that I wear and here's also some granny panties again I know the hospital provides mesh underwear but just to have them just to be on the safe side then I have two different kinds of nursing pads I have the reusable ones these are by Medela and I think there are six of these. And then I packed a couple um, pair of my Lancino ones to go into my bra. Again, I may be in the hospital a little bit longer. I know that your milk usually comes in at like day three. Um, but because we may be there a little bit longer, I wanted to make sure I had those in here as well. So next, I have some, um, what are these, sports bras. These bras are... This one I actually got from five and below and it was just by chance. I just was like, let's just try it out. 
Um, I got it in an extra large and I actually bought two of them and they are perfect for sleeping. Um, I've been wearing one of them already and I love it. So I wanted to make sure I packed the other one for the bag. And then these are from Walmart. Don't ask me why I got a 2X. I don't know. They're huge on me and I should have taken them back, but I got them like early on. So yeah, I'll probably just layer them with the other one. I have my nursing cover um, that was a gift from Tasha I think thank you Tasha I have my heating pad baby has been anterior literally the entire pregnancy and now all of a sudden she switched moved the other way so um, that makes for really bad back labor and one of the things they suggest to have is a heating pad so I just packed this actually this was just a precautionary thing and then once I found out that she's moved flipped I it just makes sense to have it baby's been posterior. yeah the baby's been posterior and now she's flipped sunny side up which sucks because you know anyway I have a towel um I have my own towel the hospital does provide you with towels but they're not as big and they're not as soft and obviously I got dark colors just because you know leakage we don't want to have stains and if it gets messed up we could just throw it in the trash have cocoa butter because this and coconut oil is all I've been using on my belly besides my cream that I made months ago um, to help with stretch marks I have some candy oh no okay have some candy in here that's just like for me <laughs> pajamas I have this black set of pajamas I'm not even gonna bore y'all with like showing you the pajamas it's pajamas it's a pants set so it's a long sleeve shirt and the pants and then I also have this set which is the same thing long sleeve shirt and the pants um, two sets of pajamas just because I want to be comfortable after I finish doing all this labor. So, yeah, I got those. Um, some warm socks. I have a couple of pair of these. And to wear home from the hospital, I have some leggings that I wore during my pregnancy. So I know that they'll fit over my belly because your belly does not go all the way back down after the baby comes out. So I just have some leggings and a top. And then here's my nursing bra. I really like this bra. This one is from Target. And I think it was maybe $10. And I just got it in an extra large. Because my boobies are huge. But it's real comfortable. I love it. So I'll have that one to wear home. While I'm in the hospital, I'll just wear the sports bras though. And just a tank top to wear. Because it is January. And it's freezing here. It's, it's freezing or it will be again. <laughs> a couple of tank tops and then a pair of yoga pants in case I don't want to wear the brown pants home. And then I have a cardigan that I'll be packing in here just to throw on. Probably one of the hubbies. Cardies that I could just throw on and wear home from the hospital. So, yeah guys, that's it. That's everything. The only... The only other things that need to be packed is the camera, the vlogging camera, and the vlogging camera batteries. And that's probably it. I probably will bring my iPad just because I wanted to have something for music in the room. And that's about it. I'm not bringing my laptop. I don't intend on editing. Hubby does not know how to do that. So I'm not even going to worry about it. I will have the video up. As soon as we get back home from the hospital. And so yeah that's about it. That's everything. If you think that I'm missing something. Or that I should add something in here. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Happy New Year again. And um, best wishes to all the new mommies. That are getting ready to give birth as well. Hope that um, everything goes well with your labor and delivery. And stay tuned to the channel for the next vlog. Bye guys.